So today we are going to start on our color wheel project. So it is our color wheel that we made from a paper plate into a color wheel umbrella for our little character that we're going to draw step by step down here. So let's get started. Hey guys, so we are going to start with a paper plate. And let me just grab my paper plate. So if it's, it's just a paper plate, and if you don't have a paper plate, I know I included a uh, white paper in your art kit, you can always take a plate from home, like an actual plate, and you can put it on your white sheet of paper, and you can trace it out. So you can trace your paper plate, or I'm sorry, your actual real plate, And then cut it out to make a circle, to make a circle shape, okay? So if you don't have one of these, you can always take a real plate and trace it and then take a pair of scissors and just cut it out if you don't have a paper plate for this project at home. So I will just go ahead and cut it out. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to fold our circle or our paper plate in half. Can you fold your paper plate in half? So now you have a line going down the middle. And you can take your pencil and actually please draw that line with your pencil. We're going to give it emphasis and make that line pop out. I'm just going to go ahead and just trace along that line. So now you have a line. Okay guys, so we are going to take our paper plate and we're going to fold it in half. so you can actually do this and then unpause when you're ready. Okay, once you have the line, I want you to actually draw the line. So you have to give it emphasis and it's gonna be a little hard because this is a three-dimensional object. So I could see it from this side, this side, this side. That's three sides. It's 3D, three-dimensional. I'm going to just try to draw the line as best as you can because I know it's going to be a little difficult. Do your best. Please have your parents help you if you need it. I would use a pencil just in case I mess up, but at least I can erase it, right? So use a pencil with an eraser. Not an eraser, don't you? Okay, here we go. I'm just going to draw my line. get a little darker. draw my letter X. Somewhere in the middle. I think this is the middle, so I'll just put a dot 
and then I'll do an X. Boom. Boom. The X marks the spot. Okay. Got it? I'm gonna make it darker. I'm gonna make it darker. Okay. Made my X. Now we have to do a line going this way and a line going this way. But how are you going to make a straight line? Well, I thought of it. You can take a piece of paper, fold it in half, and it's, kind of, it's got like a straight edge. So, I made a piece of paper, fold it in, I didn't make a piece of paper, but I fold it in half, and now, you just lay it across the lines of your X, and you're gonna trace the paper. So let's see, I'm gonna just do it on the table real fast. It's just a little easier for me to do it on the table. So hold the paper. Uh, and then trace your line all the way across the plate. All the way to the tip. Okay. And boom. Now you're going to do the same thing to this side. You're just going to lay your paper down flat. And then you're going to just trace, trace. I'm not even looking. I'm not even looking at it. I'm looking at the... I'm taking this video with me. Boom. Look at that. It's a pizza with six slices. At the end, you should have a pizza with six slices. Okay. So it looks like this. You could try to make your line straight. You want? Okay. Just like that. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Six. Okay? So in these pizza slices, you are going to actually paint them with watercolor. And you're going to paint the primary colors first. So what are the primary colors? Red, right? Red. So I'm just going to draw an R for red, yellow, and blue. So I'll just do a B. So you are going to paint red, yellow, and blue first. There should be a pizza slice in between each one. Okay? So your Red, yellow, and blue can't be next to each other. Okay? So we're making a color wheel. And these are our primary colors. So we're gonna go ahead and take our we're gonna take our watercolors now and we're gonna start painting. We're gonna start with our primary color red. And so you're gonna put your brush in your cup of water and you're going to wake up red. Wake up, Red. Wake up, Red. Don't smush your watercolors. I don't want to see you guys going smush, smush, smush. You just kind of twirl it around gently, always, okay? All right, now we're just going to paint the pizza slice red, okay? And you're going to paint the whole pizza slice. Try to be careful not to get it into the other pizza slices. Oops, hold on.
Try to fit, I mean, if you can, try to fill in all the little white spots. Okay, cool. I think I'm done. And if you can make the R disappear, great. If not, no. Now, I got red all over my brush. What do I do? That's right. You put it in the platter. You swirl it around. You get a paper towel. I'm just going to move my scissors. Get a paper towel. Just dab it on there. Make sure it's nice and clean. Well, maybe a little more. Dum, dum, dum. I think it's good. Okay, now I'm going to move on to yellow. So I'm going to take some water. Even if it's red, it's okay. Uh, I, mean, I like the dark yellow. So I'm going to wake up. Okay, I woke up the yellow with some water, and now I'm going to paint my primary color yellow, my yellow pizza slice. Now I got a whole bunch of yellow on my paper, so I am going to clean it. Ooh, look the color it turned into an orange. So swirl it, dab it, swirl it, dab it. Now we're gonna wake up blue. So I'm gonna take some water. It's okay if it's orange. I'm gonna go into my blue. I'm going to start painting my primary color blue. Okay, awesome. So now we painted our primary colors. Yellow, orange, I mean yellow, red, and blue. Now we're going to do our secondary colors. So our secondary colors is if you mix red and yellow what color do you get if you said orange you are correct so you're going to oh look it turned brown so you're going to swirl dab 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 swirl dab 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 and you're going to now you're going to wake up orange wake up orange wake up keep your colors clean all right, so we are going to go ahead and paint our secondary color orange. And this time I didn't label it because, you guys, we should know what two colors make what now. So between these two, red and yellow, if you mix them, the middle one is going to be orange. Okay. All right. I filled in my orange. Now, I'm going to turn my plate. Yeah, I have yellow and blue. What color do I get if I mix yellow and blue? If you said green, you are correct. So you can pick one of the greens. I'm going to pick this dark green because I like dark green. I'm going to wake it up. Let's start painting this green. Okay, I painted it green and I'm almost done with my color wheel. So I'm gonna turn my color wheel. Okay. Oop, and I got a little green on there. That's okay. Okay. So what color do I get if I mix blue and red? If you said purple, you're correct. So I'm going to make sure, I don't want to mess up my purple, so I'm going to make sure that I clean my brush. And I know your water is yucky. That's okay. If you want to clean it, you can, but it's fine. You don't need to clean it. 
Okay, so I'm gonna give it a swirl, give it a dab, swirl it again, and then I'm gonna go for purple. And you're gonna color it purple. Ooh, that's a pretty purple. Or violet, maybe. It's actually like a violet. It's so pretty. I love this color. So nice. Now, if you can't, I mean, I'm sure you can get all the white spots, but there will be probably some white spots. But if there are, that's okay. I'm going to try to fill in my whole pizza slice. And if a little color, like if the blue comes into your purple, just kind of wipe it with your brush. Or just mix it with your brush, but don't go into the blue. Just kind of like massage it away. There we go. All right, and there you got a color wheel. Now you may have like a little puddle. If you have a little puddle, you can take your paper towel and just press and lift. It should be fine. You can smooth it out with your finger if you can. Okay, and now we have our color wheel. We have our, our primary colors and our secondary colors which we're gonna make into an umbrella. Okay guys, so we are going to take our piece of paper here and we are going to find the center. And I, I made a dot before, but it was a little bit too low. So I may, I'm trying to find the center of the paper. It doesn't have to be exact. Don't worry about it if it's not right in the middle. All right, so from that dot, you are going to make a triangle going down. You're gonna make like a pyramid, okay? So we are going to do two lines from this dot. We're going to make a triangle going down. So basically another pizza slice, guys. Yeah. Okay. So you're going to make a triangle. And then so I made the two lines like a teepee. And then you're going to close it out on the bottom. Once you have that done, you are going to draw another line from this point. So you're going to draw another line going down. And it doesn't have to be perfect. This is going to be for our character's raincoat. Once you're done with your line, you are going to go ahead and make little dots for buttons. They don't have to be exact. Mine is really sloppy, guys, and that's okay. Yours can be sloppy, too. If you want, you can also make, like, a little pocket. So if you want to make a pocket, you can make it a square, like this. So she's got a little pocket. If you want to add like a little detail, like you can add a rectangle on the on the top of the pocket, but you don't have to do that. Okay, or let's see if I can erase it. Okay, or you can just do like a little smiley face with a little line on top. Okay, so both things work. Okay, now we're gonna make the legs so basically they're really easy you're just gonna make a rectangle so two lines coming out no, wait. so you're gonna make the legs and i made lines but they're way too far apart so miss edward made a kind of a boo-boo so we're gonna make a a little like rectangle but i'm gonna make it a little smaller than this so I'm gonna make two lines and then I'm gonna just close it out on the bottom and that makes like a rectangle. Or look at that, it's a rectangle. Okay. 
Then you're going to draw another line sort of on the left hand side a little bit. It doesn't have to be exact. It could even be in the middle if you wanted to. That's fine. Okay. From here, you're going to draw lines coming down from each uh, vertical line like this. Then you're going to make a curved line from each of these tippy tips. So from the tippy tip here, you're gonna make a curved line and you're gonna make another curved line. Then this line is gonna go back And then you're going to just close this out. You can just close this out too. And look, now our character has boots. Now, we can also make a puddle for him or her to stand in if you wanted to, which is super easy. So see these little points on the triangle you can just from this point you can make like a, a line going out and it can be kind of wavy and then kind of bring it this way down by her feet close to her feet it has to be kind of close to her feet okay and then from this oops from this point you're gonna go out wavy lines so they're kind of wavy and wiggly. Just wiggle your pencil around. And look at that. We've got a puddle. Now we are going to just paint in our raincoat. You can make it yellow. You can make it any color you want. I like yellow because it's nice and bright and it just looks fabulous. I love it. So when I think of a raincoat, I think of Coraline, which is kind of a scary movie. I don't know if you guys have seen it. But when I think of a raincoat, I definitely, my brain just goes to the primary color of yellow. And for the boots, I'm just going to clean my brush, give it a little dab. I think we'll make the boots orange, which is a secondary color. And then the pants, uh, since the puddle is going to be blue, I'm going to make the pants red. So I'm going to go ahead and just color it red. And then the puddle will be blue. So I'm going to just clean my brush because I don't want to dirty my colors. Dab, dab, dab. And go and wake up the color blue. And remember, do not smush. I know it's tempting. You want to smush it in so bad, but don't smush. Okay. And we'll go, to, go ahead and color in the puddle. Very careful. Oh, look. Some of my yellow got into my blue. And that's okay, because you can just kind of, and it made green. That's okay. I'm just going to kind of brush it into my into my blue color and it's going to make like a teal which I'm not I don't mind it actually looks pretty cool so it's gonna massage it in with my brush some more blue just kind of mix it in here there we go Oh, my um, blue dried up a little, so I have to wake it up. Put a little more water. There we go. And my puddle is 
this done. Okay, super cool. Oop, some of my um, orange got on from my boots got into my blue, but I'm just gonna kind of brush it away like this. So I just kind of brush it away. It's okay. I kind of like it. I kind of like it. So I may just leave it like that. That's fine. So we're gonna let this dry. Guys, so we're gonna take our color wheel and we are gonna glue it over our little character so it looks like this but I want to try to make this look more like an umbrella so what I'm gonna do is I am gonna draw some curved lines and this might be a little hard I don't know it might work it may not let's try you're gonna draw little points here and you're gonna draw a curved line I may draw them for you. All right, so I drew a curved line, 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 a curved line. I'm gonna cut it out. All right, so I'm gonna see if this actually works. I don't even know, but let's try. Wait, someone took a bite out of it. like an umbrella look at that so I cut curved line but not too far in on um, each color and it looks like an umbrella so now I'm gonna use tacky glue to make the 3d part which is gonna make it pop out so when you open your glue, you may need a parent to help you open the little white thing at the top. Mine actually came off really easy, but be really careful. This is really goopy stuff, so you don't want to get it all over. Okay, put the lid back on. So I would love if the umbrella popped out a little bit, okay? So I think I would give it that 3D, three-dimensional look. So we have to make something that will make it pop out. So I was thinking, why don't we use a piece of paper? And it's just a regular piece of paper. You can even use printer paper. I included some paper in the kits. So I'm just going to fold it and fold it again and fold it again and fold it again. glue the inside. So I'm going to put some tacky glue. Tacky glue is actually really, really strong, so you don't want to use too, too much. Okay, so when you get your paper to about this, you're going to fold it in half, and you're going to just smush it. Hold it for 10 seconds. So it's like one. So it's like this big, like the palm of my hand. And I took tacky glue and glued it together. Okay, so I'm gonna just 
squish it. So I glued my paper, the one I folded, to my umbrella, and now it it looks like that. <laughs> and then you're just gonna take some tacky glue. Whoa, I know you gotta squeeze kinda hard. You may need a parent. Okay. So you folded just a regular piece of paper. It could be another color, it doesn't have to be um, white. So then I'm gonna actually put the red side down, but you can do it however you want. And you are going to stick it a little over the tippy top of the um, triangle on the bottom, okay? So you're just gonna, and I'm gonna do the red side down, but you don't have to do that. And we're just gonna hold it for 30 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. And it should be stuck on there. And you have a beautiful color wheel project, a watercolor that you did. And I think it looks fantastic. So this is what we should have left. It's a bit three dimensional, so it looks like it's popping out at you just a little bit. And I just think it looks fabulous. So good luck. I hope you guys do a good job. And I can't wait to see your color wheels.